In this illustration, we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the strength of materials and abacus software, and then compare the results obtained from the abacus software with those of the strength of materials subsequently. As you observe in the picture, a sinusoidal line load is applied to the beam, and we intend to calculate the deflection as a result of the as a result of this sinusoidal line load the length of the beam is 1 meter and the cross section of the beam is 1 square with a side equal to 0 0.02 meters here you can observe the relation of line load i will enter the abacus software for simulation I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D, deformable, via and planar, enter approximate size equal to 5 and continue. I will draw a horizontal line. As you observe in this picture, the beam is 1 meter in length. done i will enter property module click on create material i intend to define the properties of steel i will click on mechanical menu then on elasticity and elastic the young modulus of steel is equal to 200 gigapascal i will enter young modulus equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal poisson ratio is equal to 0. 3 and OK. I will click on create section, then select beam and beam again. Continue. Click on create beam profile, then select rectangular and continue. The cross section of the beam is one square and each side of it is equal to 0 0.02 meters. I will click on Assign Section, select the beam, Done, and OK. After that, I will click on Assign Beam Orientation, select the beam, Done, press on Enter button, and OK. I will enter assembly module, click on create instance and OK. I will click on translate instance, select the beam, done. First select this point, then coordinates system and OK. In the next step, I will enter step module, click on create step here. Select static general, continue. Time period is equal to one second. Here, since this problem is linear by nature, I will select off option. OK. I will enter load module. Click on create boundary condition, select initial step, then displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point and this one, done. As you observe in this picture, hinged supports have been used at both ends of the beam, meaning that they will be prevented from moving towards X and Y directions, but there is possibility of rotation to occur. Here, I will close all boundary conditions except UR3 because as the supports are, hunge, are hinged, it is possible that they will tend to rotate about Z-axis. In the next step, I will click on Create Load, select Step 1, then Line Load, and continue. I will select the beam, done. I will enter the size of line load equal to negative 1. 
then click on create analytical field continue as you observe in this picture the line load is done in sinusoidal form and we should define that in the abacus software here you can observe the relation of line load in which w0 is equal to 4000 newton per meter actually the line load depends on x and OK. I will select analytical field 1 and OK. As it can be observed, the line load was defined correctly and properly in the Abacus software. As a matter of fact, the line load depends on X and it is sinusoidal shaped. In the next step, I will enter mesh module. Click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.01 meters and OK. Then I will click on mesh part and yes. Here I will save the model. In the next step, I will enter step module. As previously mentioned, we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam. As you know, the maximum deflection of the beam occurs on the middle section of the beam. So we should create a set on the middle of the beam. As you observe, one point was created on the middle of the beam and then utilizing that created, we make partition on the beam. I will click on Tools menu, select Set and then Create. Name this set Deflection. Continue, select this point and Done. Then I will enter step module, click on create history output, continue, here select set and then deflection. Here I will select U2 or the same displacement in Y direction and OK. In the next step I will enter mesh module, click on mesh part and yes. I will enter job module, click on create job. Continue, OK, then click on submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on result.
Here you can observe the deflection of the beam. As previously mentioned, the deflection of the beam occurs in the middle of the beam. Here, the problem has been solved using the strength of materials. To solve this problem utilizing the strength of materials formula, first, we should draw the free diagram of the beam, meaning that we should draw all the forces and moments having been applied to the beam. After that, we should obtain all reaction forces and reaction moments. And this has been performed here, where the quantities of FA and FB have been calculated accordingly. FA and FB are actually the same reaction forces. In the next step, we should get Vx formula. In the next step, we should obtain Mx formula. Mx stands for the same moment. In the next step, we should get the integral of the relation of moment twice. Having got the integral and simplified the relations, we will get to this formula by which we calculate the quantity of maximum deflection. Here, E is the Young modulus substill that is equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal. I stands for the second moment of area, and here the formula of second moment of area can be clearly observed. W0 is the line load that is equal to 4000 newton per meter. The maximum deflection of the beam is equal to 0 0.015 319 meters. Actually, this amount has been obtained from the strength of materials formula. Now we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the Abaca software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I will select the deflection and click on Save As and OK. The maximum deflection having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 0.01541 meters. As it can be observed, the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those of the strength of materials, indicating that a problem has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software. In both cases, the maximum deflection of the beam is equal to 0 0.01541. Here, you can also observe the flexion of the beam using colored contours, and as it can be observed, the maximum deflection of the beam having been marked with blue color and the quantity of which can be observed here.